but it gives us an option of two. So, Perth Row this. Brimstone is insane. So, we're going to go for Brimstone. With, Brimstone with Guppy is insane. And we get Levi. Didn't get Levi that. See what we got in stores for us now we are going to mom's foot again we got the tick we got the mulligan which is pretty good if we can get flight we got the bootleg the poor man's guppy i like to call it and i don't know what the other i think it's a spider bite all right it's fine the mulligan's gonna be great if we can scale our damage and get a nice little tier rate we can make something happen right right now our tier rate being at 2.73 damage at 2.50 really not that great but, you know, we'll see what we can do. Are we going to go Devil Deal? Are we going to go Angel Deal? Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet. Let's see if there's even treasure rooms here. Majority of the challenges do not have treasure rooms. So, I'm really not expecting a lot. I know the last challenge, the Waka Waka challenge, threw me for a spin, man. I'll tell you. Definitely did not expect any of that. Honestly, we got one bomb. But we need two bombs to make something happen here. I'm getting used to the Waka Waka challenge, but I gotta run around in circles <laughs> like the Pac-Man. But this is the host challenge. Makes sense. Alright, so Isaac vs. Gemini. Shout out to the Geminis out there. This should be pretty simple. I'm a big fan of the Mulligan. The fly scale with our damage. It's just a slight percentage lower, but it's a huge benefit to have. Especially with flight. It works out beautiful. Especially actually with a good strong tier rate, you can win with just a mulligan. I've seen it happen. Nice little tier rate and damage and just a mulligan. We can win. Has happened before. And there we go. This is what we want. Mr. Dolly. And go straight to it. Tier rate is finally at 3.45, which is fantastic. Anything around 4.3 and up, you could make something happen out of it. Now, I know we didn't really look the whole entire floor. So maybe there is treasure rooms. I'm not really, I don't really know, but we're going to try to bum rush this challenge. Go straight to mom's foot and under 20 minutes, try to get to that sneaky cheap boss rush it's good practice to have in like a regular run uh, so you might as well take advantage of the challenges before you start doing the real runs especially with jacob and isawa like a lot harder characters like the lost oh, excuse me the tainted lost you really want to get that out the way you know try to practice as best as you can careful focus one at a time we put ourselves in a really tough position let's just wait for a second for the creep to go away and then make it to the other side of the room you never want to put yourself in a corner or have them run around the whole entire room because it will block your movement and it will block your position and you don't want to walk into that creep you want to treat it like this see how we have open space on the left side so he could run over here if he wants to we could be okay let's go for the pentagram get a little damage up we might as well check out the devil deal money equals power is great honestly I'm, i think i'm gonna take both of these and i'm gonna pop the nail the nail is great it's gonna help us out with well, not, there's two benefits for it. It does give us that that half that black heart, the half black heart, which is extremely beneficial. If you don't take damage, you could probably scale your HP. It's a weird way of form of survivability. It's just really, really slow. You stack that with car battery, you can make something great happen. The second benefit, it does give you a nice little scale of damage up when you pop it within the room you're in. Uh, me personally, I always forget that it does that, to be quite honest with you. Um, I usually just use it for the HP purposes. Ooh, almost got hit there. Uh, do we need any of this? No, we got money goes power. We want to really preserve our HP. A little baby Fistula. Nothing too crazy here. A little secret with Fistula. You can pop. I mean, I wish I could show it here, but you can pop him. Perth is amazing. If you pop per, uh, any Fistulas over to like empty terrain, they will not spawn any Anna. So no spiders, no little, uh, little chubs. No, no of those guys. They will not pop. And we did pick money equals power. So money equals power is great. It's going to scale our damage with the more money we have. Just got to find it now. That's, that's going to be the tricky part, right? Finding the money. And look, we got the nail ready to go. We're going to pop it into this room. Isaac risks the fallen, which is good. He drops a double deal item. And we have per throw. I mean, we will lower our speed, but look at that damage. 7.58. That was a big hit, by the way. Careful, careful. Down goes him. Let's see what's in our devil deal first and activate per throw if we need to. Um, honestly, at the main is pretty good, man. At the main clears rooms out fast. But it gives us an option of two. So, per throw this. Brimstone is insane. So, we're going to go for Brimstone. With, Brimstone with Guppy is insane. And we get Leviathan. Get a little flight action. So, honestly, th that, was a good, that was a good call. 
Definitely a different change of pace from the last run. The host challenge looks like it's going to be an easy win for us. Not because we got Brimstone, it's just the way the challenge is set up. Our damage is at 5.68. T-Rex at 1.15. It really doesn't matter though when you got Brimstone. Especially with the Mulligan. It's just going to be a good time. That was a big hit, by the way. Big hit. Again, another big hit. That's all me for rushing into that. Am I worried about my HP? No. And I'll tell you why. I'm really not worried. And that is because we got the nail. The nail, again, is a form of survivability. If we can use it strategically. You know, like right now we just popped it for half. I got enough keys. I should go in here. For the money, huge. 6.22 damage. Let's get another key. Careful. We don't want to go in the shop. We don't want to waste it. And I did pick up a little horn. Huge fan of little horn. Extremely underrated item. And there's our boss again. Our flies will take care of that. Give me that. Let's go straight to it. Isaac versus Dark One. No uh, nail activation this time. Careful. But Little Horn's amazing, man. Little Horn works great on bosses. Shows like that. Look at that. And it works. It's based off of your luck. So if your luck is good, Little Horn would be good. Pageant Boy is amazing, especially since we have money equals power. Look at that. Let's move on to the next floor. Again, there might be a treasure room. I'm not sure. Wikipedia, if you want, Google it. I'm I'm just cruising along through the challenge. Careful. Makes the challenge a little bit more interesting when you're just going in blind, right? You don't really know. No treasure. What if there was treasure rooms? We had no idea, you know. Really test your skill out. I think secret rooms here, by the way. Yep. Let's go. What you got? We got it. Let's do it. We got a keys for it. I was hoping for something. You know what? Eh, I'm not gonna waste it. And we got flight from Leviathan transformation. So that's also a benefit. But again, we got the poor man's guppy, man. We got mulligan. We got flight. We got money goes power. We got all these flies and spiders just coming out of nowhere now. I'm down, man. This is great. This is great. Look how fast we're going to go through this. Now, I'm kind of curious. What achievement are we going to get? Like, what item do you get with the host? I know we just unlocked Death Toss, which is Death Touch. Excuse me. Which is actually a great item in itself. Isaac versus Reap Creep. Reap Creep is just annoying. He's just a very, very annoying boss. And we don't have the nail to pop, so our damage is just going to stick at 6.54. But again, we're pretty strong. Our flies will scale off our damage. I have no idea how we did not get hit there. All right, he's on his final form. Not oh, I knew I was going to take hit some, some way. All right, down goes Reap Creep. Give me Placenta, which is perfect. Because we can waste it on nothing. Because we're going to go... And continue with our run now if it was a better deal with you i probably would have took it i would waste it all right so we're pretty much on our last floor careful oh that was close i was expecting my spiders and flies to do some work there thank you thank you now we gotta look for our full card let's go left why do we need the full card probably not to be quite honest with you but it's again really good for practicing on your regular runs. I didn't want to waste the key there. The Empress is going to scale our damage. Yeah, we want money. We do have money because power. We're sitting at 37 cents, eight bombs, five keys. Economy is booming. 6.98 damage. Careful. Pop. Open that up. Some more keys and some more money. The Chariot, not worth it. Stick with the Empress card until we can find a full card. And there it is. Again, it's good practice so when you get to your boss rushes. Ooh, a chest and a chest. Gotta gotta love that. I get it. it oh, left hand would be nice. If this was a, like a full run, I would have went left hand. Even though we do have the tick, left hand is always the play to go with. You can get guppy really really quickly with that, especially some soul hearts. Again, we don't want to go in the shop. Preserve our money at all costs. These little greed guys are annoying. Don't don't get hit by them. I don't know if you saw a little horn. Pop his hand up. Drag him down with him. Little one's great. Pop the nail again. And look at that. Look at our HP slowly coming back to life, right? That was a close one. But look at our timing, ready? We're at eight minutes. We went to mom in under 10 minutes. That's really good practice, man. Really, really good practice. Try it out. Um, I recommend it. Now, the payout, the payoff, excuse me, of going here is not that great. About like, I, I'm not uh, big on numbers. Even though I always num say stats out loud. Half the time, 
these items are super trash wow look at this is does this synergize with brimstone anymore i don't even know but I, i'm a big fan of this look at this the split shot is my thing split shot is amazing split shot brimstone is always a good time always a good time well what would you've chosen you know that's a big question what have you chosen would you went with the the other item see how that goes again it sucks that we're capped though right we're limited on the run because it is a challenge it's only mom's foot and it is what it is other than that we went we went through we steamrolled this challenge that is the host challenge if you like what you see check out the channel appreciate everybody watching until next time